Hello, everybody. Hold on. You have to tell me to hold on. To what? I don't know. The table. <laughs> it told me that we weren't live, but I we're think... Live. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're live. We're live. Let's hold on. My phone's weird. <laughs> Welcome, everybody who's tuning in. I'll give it a second for people to get on here. We're doing Vinyl Friday today, and it's supposed to be springy, and it's snowing outside today in little Shelly, Idaho. Like, blizzarding. It's not cool. So, anyways... So we've got a couple winners. Jessica did a Facebook Live on Wednesday, and she picked four winners this time. And we've got two $50 credit winners. And one is Wanda Rogers, and the other one is Jessica Marie Link. Which is so a good name. Congratulations. Jessica says you have a good name. <laughs> it's a good name. And then we have Kathy. Oh, and we have Jessica Smith on. Sorry. Oh, Jessica and Smith? Jessica Smith? Yeah. <laughs> it's us combined. Join <laughs> Smith. Okay, and then for the heat transfer pack, someone won the new Blossom pack that went live today, early this morning. They're super fun. We have some products coming up with them. So, but Kathy, I'm going to say this wrong, Impa Fuller, Kathy Impa Fuller, you won this one. So, we'll get it out to you, ship to you. He drones for pack, and then either Eileen or Eileen Bell. Um, you want the adhesive pack. So, and they are, they've got instructions on them, what comes with them, if you've never used them before, they're fun. Watch for our projects next week that we're doing some. If you want one, I'm gonna show you where to go get them right now. So, if you go to the site, all right. All you have to do is go to the home page. Oh. This is what you'll see. Just scroll down a little bit, and here's our packs. Brand new, went on today. They're limited edition. So go and get them now. They're going fast. So on top of we've got new, we've got a sale going on for our printable inkjet vinyl, which is what we're going to go over today. And we have. Oops, I opened it up. <laughs> We have a coupon that is 20 ADH18. So 20 ADH18, and it's 20% off all adhesive. That doesn't include the inkjet bottom because that's already on sale. So you can stack that coupon on top, apply it to your packs, and go get all your spring stuff ready. So, okay. So congratulations to the winners. We'll get you taken care of, get these shipped out to you so you can start packing. All right. What we're going to go over today is we're going to make this lovely thing here. Um, it's supposed to be springing today, so we're just going to pretend like it's really springing today and not freezing. But we are going to use the inkjet vinyl today with our trans... It's not the transparent line, it's from the Glare FX, but it's called Stardust. And it's just a translucent, see-through uh, glitter vinyl, and we're going to put it over top of our inkjet vinyl. So... But we're going to start as if I'm starting this project from the very beginning. Um, we did the shamrock too. The same thing. Because I didn't decide which one to do. But all the glitter. So, okay. This is what you're going to need to do. We have this cut file. You can go buy it on our site. It's 99 cents, I believe. You can get it in multiple forms. Just going to have to turn again. It's okay. So... Okay, same thing, right next to the Blossom Packs on the site, just on the home page, we have right here. You just click on it, 99 cents. You don't get the font. I'll give you the font information, because that's not our file. Just the Easter egg is our file. And that's what you'll get. It is available in these different formats. All of them will work, depending upon the program that you have. Um, Silhouette, if you have the basic, um, I think you can do DXF, I'm not 100% sure, but if you have the designer edition or higher, I'm pretty sure you can do all of them, or you can just do the studio file. So, this is what it will look like. Okay. I've cut this on the Aura Mask, and there's a reason why. This is my favorite vinyl to use if I'm going to go cut it on wood. So, it's specifically designed, if you look close enough, these tiny little lines, can anybody tell me maybe what they think those are for? There's a specific reason for them being the size that they are. Anybody? <laughs> maybe not. Anybody like to cut wood with vinyl? <clears throat> I like to. So, 
No one's guessing. I'll tell you. Okay, it's specifically designed <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> for your scroll saw blade to go right in there. So all you have to do, and I'm going to show you, like I said, we're going to do this from the very beginning. You take your MDF wood, I didn't cut it down because I forgot, and is it going to be easier for you just to... Yeah, you're good. Can you pause for just a second? Um, Kathy was asking what the coupon was, and Tammy was wondering the winners. So we will have oh. Joanne post those um, on the comments. Yes. It's on there. Thanks, Joanne. Okay. Sorry, I didn't see that. Okay. Oh, my man, I'll say it again throughout the thing. Okay. So, I've already got my Easter egg cut out or a mask. And... This is my favorite kind of trip to use. You can use paper, you can use the other clear that we offer, but this is by far my favorite to use for wine to wood just because I can see it. Now we're not gonna actually cut this because I don't have a saw sitting next to me, but I'm just gonna show you how you would do this. So if you've got any friends that have got some saw tools, you've got some, I really like doing this stuff. It's super fun. You can design it on your own program. Cut it on your orm mask. The reason why I use the orm mask, oh, I've got stuff going everywhere, is because I hate tracing patterns on wood because they move. You can't see the lines when you're cutting. This is going to save you a lot of time. Okay. So just take your backer off like you normally would. So Again. I want to take a poll and see if you guys have cut, um, wood using vinyl as a stencil before, let us know. I want to hear. I have never been brave enough to do that. Give I need us to... Give a thumbs up right now. Let yeah. Give, thumbs up. give us a thumbs up if you've tried it before. It's like my favorite thing. It makes stuff so much easier. Okay, so you're just going to put it on like you would normal vinyl. If you want to cut multiples, which is my little tip trick. My dad's always taught me to do this. You can put this on one piece, cut a bunch of squares out, put this on the top, use carpet tape or double-sided tape and tape all the pieces together and cut it once. And then you have endless amounts of eggs. So I actually use one of these to cut two of those out because I just stacked one on top. So this is a little helpful tip bit. All right, and then just take it off like you would normal vinyl. Now you don't, I'm going to save this. Oh, look at that trick. <laughs> so, all you have to do now is go take this up, I'd square it off, um, and then just cut around either circular saw and then just follow the lines. Leave that on there because this is on there. You can burnish it a little bit more. Ore mask is a film. I mean, we're not talking about ore mask today, but this is what I, I would recommend using. But you're ready to cut it out and number them so you remember what order they go in. So, that's all you have to do before you start cutting. When you're done cutting, this is what you should have. And I've already got some of them lab or labeled, vinyl. So this is what your eggs should look like. And I've got numbers on them because once I take them off, I can't remember what order they go in. So, and I like to paint it with it on. It's just easier to me because all you're going to do is paint the sides. You don't have to worry about the top of the back because you're putting vinyl on top and you're gluing the back. What so, type of wood are you using? This was just MDF wood. You can get it at Lowe's, Harbor, not Harbor Freight, Home Depot for like five bucks for a 24 inch by 24 inch piece. They have like bigger pieces too, but, um, and sometimes I'll trim it down for you sometimes, but yeah, just MDF wood. This is quarter inch. You can do thinner. You can do different types of wood. I just like MDF cause it's easy to paint and you don't have a ton of sawdust. So, okay. So what we're going to do now. We've already gone to our saw, we've painted it, got our aura mask on. But if you look closely, I'll show you on a better piece. The inkjet vinyl is glittery. Let me see if I can get close. Now you can't print inkjet vinyl that way. So that's where our transparent glitter is going to come in handy. I'm trying to get that to focus on the glitter. There we go. Got it? Oh no, I had it and then it went away. There's the glitter. It's all sparkly. sparkly, sparkly. Ooh. So, in order to do that, I'm going to first show you how you can set it up so that you have sheets. And I have stuff everywhere. So, 
What did you cut the MDF with? <clears throat> what kind of saw? I used a band saw. You can use a scroll saw. I'm not great with scroll saws because they have such little blades. I have a harder time controlling them. Band saw, um, band saw or scroll saw. Either one will work great. Um, or a, there's another name of one and I can't think of it. A jigsaw? Jigsaw, I think is what it's called. So, either one that has a little blade, just follow the line and you're good to go. And you can go get that cut file from us and it's yours to use. So, okay, on, we'll go into the silhouette program. I'm going to show you how to print, because I don't need a full sheet of this, and I'm not going to use my print and cut. I just need to print the pattern. And these patterns I got from Etsy, and I've got links on the blog, which if you go to the site, go just to blog, it's the first one up. Um, I've got the links to these patterns that you can put into your program. So I'm going to show you how to set this up so you don't have to print full sheets because my, my scraps of wood are only like two and a half inches tall. So I just divided it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, <laughs> sorry, Jesse keeps going back You're good. Okay, so I'm just gonna take, I just did three, which ended up being like 2.8 inches um, on an eight and a half by 11 sheet by 11. So you're just gonna go up here and adjust your box. This is also how you would do a weeding box too, it's just a box. And over to your duplicate, oops, I always click on the wrong one. Your replicate, just move it over twice. Group them together so that they're centered with the page. What version of Silhouette are you using? I am using the 4.1. If you're not sure which one you have, all you have to do is go to the help up here and click on About Silhouette, and it'll tell you right there. So, um, some um, features in the program won't work unless you have 4.1 or higher, or 4.0 and higher. So, just keep that in mind. This one is the business edition too, so there might be some things that look a little different than yours if you have the designer or the basic. Okay, so. I've got this all set up. I don't need my cut border on because I'm not actually going to be cutting. You could cut if you want, but when you take some wood to a saw with a pattern, it's not going to be exactly the same, so keep that in mind. You can do it though if it's easier for you. So I'm just going to cut my, turn off my show cut border and just turn on my show print border just so I can have a better understanding where I'm going to go. Then you're just going to go to your patterns. I believe if you have designer edition or higher, you can go into your library and specifically um, name your patterns into groups like I did here. So here's all my spring ones. So I don't have to keep going back and finding them. You can categorize them all together. It's kind of nice. So now all I have to do is select your box and throw your patterns in. That's all you have to do. Just pick whatever. If you want to adjust them at all, you can just scale them. Keep in mind, some of them might not be seamless, so you might have some weird lines, like right there. But, I mean, that's up to you. You can do that if you want. I've done it before. Some, it doesn't show up as much, so it's totally your preference. But that's all you have to do. And then you're ready to print. <coughs> then you'll end up with a sheet like this. The printable inkjet vinyl does have a right and a wrong side. The right side is dull. The wrong side is shiny. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. So if you're not sure and you get this in your order and you're like, oh, I don't know which one you're supposed to print on or I can't remember, just lift the corner up. Shiny or the sticky side is what you want to print on. And then go from there as to which way your printer is going to feed it. So I've got this all ready. Typically you would do a um, laminate over top of it. It's still waterproof, but if you do a premium laminate um, or an economy laminate, it will extend the life <clears throat> and it's UV protected. So, but today, <laughs> and Jessica, I'm gonna lose my voice. <laughs> you got a frog in your throat. And uh, Jessica did her blossom pack. She did this technique. I think Amy did it on last final Friday. If you watched that, she did some little um, St. Patrick's Day pins. She did the same thing. So, I feel like this is kind of our new favorite thing, maybe. I don't know if it's mine, new favorite thing. So, this. It's kind of the same technique as putting right on. Like, can you see my fingerprints? No. Okay. <laughs> you're good. So just pretend that you're putting transfer tape on your vinyl. It's the same technique. So. Carol's asking if the printable vinyl is permanent. Yes. It's a permanent 
waterproof, not water resistant, it's a waterproof. You could go, I could print this off and go stick it under running water in my sink and it's not gonna bleed. If you did it on the correct side. If you print it on the wrong side, it's gonna smear like crazy, which isn't a total loss. You could dry it out and then just feed it through correctly. It's not gonna matter because that's the back. So don't panic if you go, shoot, I just wasted my vinyl I printed on the wrong side. Just wipe it off and flip it around, you're fine. Okay. Okay, I'm getting close to doing this. Okay, so this would be the same technique as applying transfer tape or the laminates, but we're going to use the Stardust Glitter FX, and we're going to turn this plain solid colors into glitter. I will tell you, going through this and doing that one, if it is more pastel-y, you might lose a little bit of the color with the um, glitter, so maybe make it a little bit brighter, find brighter patterns. Sometimes not a huge deal. Okay, the tricky part with this is just go slow because you will get bubbles like I just did there. So just go slow and steady, don't rush. It's a little bit more tricky to put on the transfer tape. So I like to just pull it out a little ways. If I'm getting bubbles, push it towards the side and just go slow. So Dawn has a, a good idea. I'm not sure if I'm in love with it, but she says, um, Jessica, I'm with you. I want to start making more wood projects, but I'm not confident using the scroll saw either. I think you need to make your first project live to help encourage the rest of us. You can go to my pa's shop, Jessica. Starla can help me. Starla can teach me how to cut wood. That would be so fun. It's fun. I, I like mixing the two. It's probably one of my favorite things is to go to my dad's shop and cut wood out. And I'm probably there every weekend. <laughs> And I felt good last week because I cleaned it up for him. So, or two weeks ago. I cleaned up his wood shop because I made a mess. <laughs> you cleaned up your own mess. It was a horrible <laughs> mess. There was stuff everywhere. And if my mom's watching, she can probably vouch for that. Give us a thumbs up, mom. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Starless mom's watching. <laughs> Hi. Or her sisters. Or my sisters. Up. There's probably a couple sisters. A couple in there. Okay, so that's all yeah, hold this we up need a to do. It's Sorry. No, I just want to try and get that glitter. Ooh, there's the glitter. Yay! Look how pretty. I and love it. We did it on a couple different ones. So you just do the same thing. So if you notice, here's a pastel one and a little bit brighter colors. It kind of dulls the pastels, but the bright colors, it's awesome. So just keep that in mind. So, Starla, tell us what if we've got some new. People just jumping on. Tell us what you're going to make. We are making a wooden Easter egg, and we're using our inkjet printable vinyl, which you can get in a roll, 8.5 by 11 sheets, or 12 by 12 sheets. If you have a wide format printer, you can get 12 by 12s, which it's really nice. So, but you can just, for this project, you don't need the big sheets. You can do it either way. And we took our template. We've basically gone and cut our wood out. We're just going to place our pieces on here. So these are ready to go. And I've already got some of them going. If you were watching a little bit earlier, we already showed this. So I've already got them cut out. So we're going to finish these three and then um, we're going to put it all together. Um, if you do decide, you could also keep this cut file and just print those patterns on there. Um, put the patterns into the shape. But like I said before, keep in mind, it might be a little bit off because when you cut with a saw, it's not going to do the exact same. So, okay, what we're going to do now, we are going to, I'm going to let you guys pick. This is kind of already similar. I need two colors for these two pieces. I already put some of them on, so let me hear you about eggs, flowers, dots, or pastels, whatever. So, but for the middle one, while people are choosing, we are going to use not inkjet vinyl. We're going to use a piece from our adhesive blossom pack that went live mm. today. And they're on the homepage. Um, just go the pins comment at the top. Is it at the top? The pins comment at okay. the top has the link right All right, there. perfect. At the top of the page, you'll have those and the cut file if you want the cut file too. So everything's new today. So we've got a few people saying, love, love, love the glitter. The glitter effect is awesome. Dina and Marie say dots. Roy says dots. Katie says dots. I love the dots. The dots are right there. They are probably my favorite ones. Karen and Lara say dots. So everybody's dots. Dots. Oh, Lori says, pa Lori says pastel and eggs. Oh, so maybe we'll just do these two? 
Yeah, those are pretty. I think those will look good because they're not quite the same. Um, if you do want to do this, I found that if I cut the strips apart and then lay them in order, it'll make it easier to kind of figure out what order you want your stripes in. So if that helps a little bit. So if people are still going to guess, I think we're going to go with dots, but maybe people will give us a little more. You could do the same thing on this too with the glitter. I'm not going to because I want people to see um, it in all of its original glory. <laughs> original glory. I like that. <laughs> So you could put this on here. I tried it, it's not the best. But um, if you feel like when you trace wood, you'll get a pencil mark that's slightly wider. I like that because then I can go through and trim it up and it'll be correct. So just take your aura mask off. At this point, this is probably not usable because I've had it on there for a while and it's tackiness is gone. Um, but if you remove it right away, you could probably use it again. So. And I missed a step. I didn't number the back like I was supposed to. So let me go back real quick. We got five. So Donna says she's working um, on her order while she's watching on her lunch break. She's multitasking. What are you ordering? Printable vinyl pattern. <laughs> um, Stardust glitter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so if you're looking for the Stardust glitter, it's not in the transparent line. There are a bunch of colors in the transparent, 19 to be exact. <laughs> um, but Stardust is a part of the glitter FX. There is a silver, but it's almost a little bit too gray for this, but do what you like. You can even add more colors. It'll just kind of change the color. It's kind of fun. So all we're going to do, you could do this one of two ways. It doesn't matter. I tried both. It really doesn't matter. All you're going to do is just trace it. And this will be fun to do with your kids. Or if you don't have a machine, you can still get the files and download them onto a program or even just print them off and still do this. Um, you can size that file to whatever size you need. Um, I think mine, this board was like an 18 by 10, something like that. Just size it to however you want. Okay, then you're just going to trim it. And it's okay if you're a little bit off. You're going to have to trim off some of it anyways. Because like I said, the wood is not going to be perfect. So don't worry about it. And if you want a distressed look, you can just take a sharp knife. Very sharp knife. Be careful. Um, and you can go in along the edge of the wood and kind of chip away the wood with the pattern. And it'll do kind of a cool distressed look. Oh, that's a good idea. Do we have any questions so far? Any more comments on patterns? Gloria says she's waiting for an order to come, and now she's going to place another order for the packs. Awesome. You have to watch next week for all the videos that we've done with it. Did some cute stuff. Or this weekend. Watch or this weekend. weekend. Yeah. Um, Joanne well, did a table runner. Yeah, that table runner was cute. With the heat pillow. transfer. Hello. Starla did a cute pillow. Jessica did a bunny with lots, the glitter. Lots yes. of project inspiration. Oh, Laura lost video because of the storm. Oh, but she's back. She's back. Good, she's got. <laughs> Yay, Laura. I have a storm going too. Okay, so since this is a little bit thinner, I don't know if we're going to be able to see this, but the pattern printed that we print is a little bit thinner than the inkjet. So you might need some transfer tape for this. This you can just stick right on because it's pretty thick. So I'm going to go take my transfer tape that I already used. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't even have to be on there very well. It's just so I can transfer. So Brooke just joined. Can you give us a recap? We are making an Easter wood sign or spring. We've got a shamrock clover over there. We are putting the inkjet printable vinyl that we sell on the boards along with our stardust glitter effects to glitterize your pattern. So instead of using the laminates. All right. And we've got a cut file out there. People are just joining. Go to the homepage, get the cut file, get your blossom packs. Use the coupon because all of our 20, we have 20% off our adhesive vinyl. And our inkjet printable vinyl is on sale. Ooh, Jennifer says she's making shirts while she's watching this, and she wants to make this next. Do it. It's fun. You don't have to be, well, 
you have to someone know how to cut wood, but if you know someone that cuts wood, have them cut it if you've never done it, because, I mean, you are using power tools, so be safe. So right. Tony has a good question while you're cutting these out. Could you use the file pieces and cut the printed file with your cut printed file with your cutter? Oh yeah. So you don't have to cut with scissors. Yeah, I actually thought about that afterwards. Where you've got the cut file, you can actually lay it out, do the same thing, click on each one and add your pattern. That'll work too. And then you can actually print those because you're just gonna cut around them by hand. You don't need to print and cut. So um just keep in mind though, when you cut the wood, it might be a little bit different. So maybe offset it a little bit. So you have a little bit of a bleed. Um, bleed in Cricut, offset in Silhouette. And you can also use this file in Cricut and Brother, whichever machine you have, or any other one really. Okay, so this is all I'm doing because my wood is a little bit off because I can't cut a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> or a curved line, I guess it's not straight. I can't cut curves. <laughs> So I'm just going through with an X-Acto knife. I found that X-Acto knife, I have a little bit more control doing this. I still like the box knife, the Fat Max box knife. But this has a little bit more control for getting close in there. So if this is really sharp, and I talked about doing a distressed look, you could actually just go along the edge. I don't know how it'll work with. And just do, oh, can you see that, Jessica? Yeah, let me get close. Because MDF is fairly soft, you could just go through and rough it up a little bit. My, there we go. And just do that along the edge. And then you can have a roughed up look. Just be careful, just make sure it's sharp. If it's dull, be careful too. So, okay, there is that one. I think that matches pretty good. Cute, yeah. So we decided on the polka dots, dots and the eggs. And eggs, okay. So, same thing. So Brooke says, did you use a stencil? So can you back up a little bit and talk about the cut file? The cut file, we designed the cut file. Um, it's on the homepage. It's right at the beginning under new stuff. Just scroll down a little bit. We'll have the link for it too. It's 99 cents. So all you have to do is download it. SVG, DXF, it's got a studio file too if you're not sure how to import those ones. It's just a cut file and it's ready to go. You could even just cut it out of vinyl and put it on a board if you, if you don't cut wood or know anybody that does. But it's just a cut file. And I use the orange mask so I can put it on the wood. We'll go back to that real quick. We use our orange mask stencil vinyl. And what do we call this? A reverse stencil? Because you're not stenciling anything. You're actually using this as a trace tool. And it's not going to move when you're cutting it. Sometimes when you trace stuff, it gets a little bit off. Um, if you do a pencil, when you start cutting, it uh, just kind of, you lose your cut lines. So this works great because you have a blue visual and it's a film. So and they'll come right off. I love it, it's my favorite thing to cut wood with now. I don't use anything else. And then Stacy was asking about your transfer tape. What kind of transfer tape oh, are you using? The transfer tape I'm using is the clear gridded transfer tape. I didn't really use the grid on it, I just really like the tape. Um, the grid helps lining everything up, but where I had uh, shapes already, I just line it up with the shape itself. But the clear transfer tape, I believe I have links on the blog for that as well. Um, if you want to look at the blog or if you want to kind of go through this, see a little more pictures step by step, just go Expressions Vinyl, go to the blog, website, blog, and it should be the first one up. So, and you'll see this little, um, <laughs> whatever this thing's called. <laughs> and we've got it linked cord. up at the, in the description as well to the blog post, so. Okay, so we're going to do these guys. If you're wondering what this is, I was talking about earlier stacking wood. This is carpet tape. So... When I put that on that board, I just stacked it a million times and put the tape as close as I could on the lines, stack the boards all together and cut it once. Nice. So you don't have to cut a million times. Gloria says, you've inspired me to make a sign and to make them for my grandchildren. I'm going to Home Depot after this video ends to get the wood to get started. Yay! That's awesome. It'd be fun to do with little kids. I mean, you can do it any size too, so that would be fun. And then just print off a bunch of different patterns. Um, I really like hers from Etsy. There's so many different patterns. Um, and while we're doing this, if you do do your own patterns, all you have to do is download it to your file. You do have to um, extract the file, which usually means just dragging that file into a different folder and it's extracted. And then drop it in your library. That's really all it is. That's it. Okay. So, cute little cutter bees here. 
Paper, scissors. <laughs> All right. I didn't ask anybody what people are making today. Are people making St. Patrick's Day? Are people making spring? I have done both. I finally got my St. Patrick's Day stuff up. Pat it on the back for me because I wasn't going to. <laughs> <laughs> so Ruth says, I'm so impressed with your woodcutting skills, and I have to agree. I would be terrified to do that. Hmm. And Haley says, what saw do you use? What kind of saw did you use for it, that? It's a band saw. I couldn't tell you the name of it. It's an old saw. Um, but really, any scroll saw. I have a little skill saw that... Um, I got from my dad and my sister for my birthday. I was super happy. Um, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's called a Wen. You can get them on Amazon. But my dad's is a huge, <laughs> it's a big one. So I think they're like $70 if you get them on Amazon, just the little tabletop ones. So nothing terribly expensive and they all work great. Um, there's tons of videos on them all the time. Just be safe when you do them if you're first starting out. Or like I said, or have somebody cut it for you that knows how to do it. This same technique could be used if you go to, there's several wood shops around here, or wood, not shops, wood, um, what do we call them? Like wood creations, wood connection in Utah? Bunch of different wood projects. You can do the same thing. You just won't have a cut file, just trace it on your inkjet, just like I did. Okay. So uh, Haley's asking if you have a scroll saw. What was the, you have a band, you cut it on a band saw? The band saw, they're basically the same thing. A band saw is just a taller one, and I may get this wrong. Um, a band saw is thicker, so if you have tight curves, you're not going to be able to con contour to the curves as much. Skill saws have littler blades, they're really thin and skinny, so you can turn really quick. Um, skill saw, yeah, skill saw, not scroll saw. I always say them backwards, but scroll saw I'm pretty sure is like a circular saw. I could be wrong. Just look, I think, yeah, you know more skill saw. Than I do. <laughs> Just look for one that has a blade, not a circular blade. So, I could totally be wrong. I always get a mix up skill saw or scroll saw. I think skill saw is also the brand. There's several different brands you can get. I really oh. like my win. Haley's in Boise. You're kind of close to us, Haley. Is it snowing in Boise, I wonder? It's snowing here. It does not look like spring. So if you go read the blog at the very beginning, I joke about it's almost spring, we hope. Every we day hope we spring. hope. And then every day it snows. <laughs> I always think it's going to be nice and warm. I even busted out my flip-flops the other day and then it snowed. Got to put them back. Now it won't yep. snow. Back to snow boots. I was even going to wear a spring shirt today and I decided not to because it was snowing. <laughs> yeah, sweater better. Still sweater what? Sweater weather? Sweater weather, yeah. Sweater weather. <laughs> Brooke says my hubby won't allow me to use power tools. So make him do it. Just say, okay, listen up. I need this. I need you to cut this for me. Won't take long. I'll buy you some ice cream. <laughs> so I'll take you. Leslie okay. says that she wants a job doing crafts. I love it. It's fun. Okay, so there's our, what do we call them? Our dots. I'm going to show this up close and see if we can get that glittery. Look how cute and glittery. Oh, there's the glitter. It really pops when you get it just right. I really like it on the shamrock because the shamrock has so many different colors. That's also an Etsy pattern. Just search Easter, spring. There's so many patterns that you can get. I'm a little bit addicted to patterns. It's really bad. Patterns and fonts. Okay. Do we have any other questions? Uh, Tina said she's making a softball shirt to support her daughter. Softball season is on. Is it softball? I guess it is softball season. Ashley says it's snowing in Pocatello. Um, oh, goodness. They're having in uh, Pennsylvania, sorry, Pennsylvania, 15 inches of snow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and Laurie asks what kind of wood you're using. Um, Just for these, this is just the quarter-inch MDF wood. You can get it at Home Depot. Um, I'll, tell, I'll tell you a tip with Home Depot. If you just search on their website, <clears throat> I love how they have it laid out. If you just search MDF Wood, they give an aisle and a bay number. So you just have to find it. And it's super easy to find. I love that they do that. Because I can never find anything. And I'm going to lose my voice halfway through this video. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us, Starla. <laughs> okay. Haley <clears throat> wants to know where we're located. Shelly, Idaho. Idaho. Idaho Falls. Around there. 
If you know where Shelly is. You know where Idaho Falls is. We're close. <laughs> Shelly, Idaho. Ooh, and we have a good question. What kind of printer did you use to print your printable vinyl here? Ours upstairs is a HP Envy. It's the Envy of all, you know. I found the best <laughs> trick, the Envy of all. The best trick to do is turn up your, to mess with your cut, your print settings. Oh, yes. Explain what you're saying. I know what you're saying. <laughs> so if you like, um, set it to photo quality or set the quality to best, they print out a lot nicer. And they work a lot better if they're not. Um, so if you do order the roll of the inkjet, I recommend cutting it down into the sheets that you can have by 11 and then put something heavy on it for a couple days and they will flatten right out. Printers don't really like things curly going inside. <laughs> so yeah, I do the same thing Jessica does. I do like, yeah, other inkjet paper or something like that and then do best. And it prints really well. I mean, I don't have one that's not glittered now, but keep in mind, and this is what I was told a long time ago, <clears throat> is that the inkjet vinyl is like a sponge. It is waterproof, but if you put too much ink into it, it might still smear. So just keep that in mind. If you have darker colors, it should, it should dry right away. But if you print like a sheet with a lot of black on it, maybe give it a minute to dry. Yeah. But it is waterproof. The laminates are UV resistant. The glitter FX is also permanent water resistant, so you'd be good to put this outside. Maybe not on the wood, but <laughs> the wood might struggle. So, okay, there we have it. We are all ready to put our cake together. Okay, when you design this for size, oh, it's like backwards. It's like a puzzle. Keep in mind, you could butt them up together like that, but I like them spread apart, so make it a little bit smaller than you normally would, or um, just design it out further on your program. So, just spread them out. Got my hot glue gun. Get your hot glue gun going. I always don't turn our heat press on or our <laughs> 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 I think I watched the Vital Friday, or was it Facebook Live a couple weeks ago? I kind of messed up on that. I think that was a surge protector. I think <laughs> that it wasn't your fault. It was, it auto shot off on you. <laughs> so make sure your iron's not shut off. <laughs> okay, so I think that looks good. I don't know if it's centered or not, but we'll turn it so you can see it. Get close. That is so cute. I really like the blossom pattern in there. I think it works cute. really well. And it'd be fun to maybe take a couple pieces out and put a little chick behind it or something. Oh, that'd be cute. Just do something like that. Or if you've got a magnet board, this is just an idea. If you've got a magnet board, just put magnet strips on top and your kids can play around with them. It'd be fun. Okay, so I think that's how I want it. Okay, what I found doing this, <laughs> so you don't mix it up because I hate it when they move after I've got it all set. Start with these two because this is going to set your um, spacing. Start with these two and then go to these two and then those will kind of even up. So, oh, good idea. Joanne says to give us a heart if you guys love this project. You want to see hearts across our screen? Lots of hearts. Okay. I don't have glue stick in it, of course. They're right there. Oh, we do. Ooh. This doesn't want to come out. Uh, where did you get this backboard from? This, <laughs> this board I actually cut and made. So it's just a 12-inch um, common board from Home Depot. And then I just took it to the table saw and ripped into it and these are two and a half inches but you can find any board and just size your egg to it i just um really like making my own boards oh yay there's lots of parts thanks guys okay so not much glue just <laughs> line it up and i got the other one crooked so i'm gonna try to do better this time just didn't still got crooked oh, i okay. don't even know this okay it's cute. and then just keep going it's not gonna take much i mean once the glue's on there it's not gonna move I tried doing wood glue, just didn't hold down as well. So I like hot glue. Okay. And this is just a regular glue gun. Probably from Walmart. Michaels. Somewhere. Some little glue sticks. Okay. Just put it in there. And just keep going. Oh my word. <laughs> I 
always lose my glue sticks. I think since we're making this fun Easter project, um, I want to hear what people's like favorite Easter tradi traditions are. I'm looking for some new, I don't know, something fun to do on Easter with everybody. I think we always got pajamas when we were little. Pajamas for Easter? Ooh, that's yeah, fun. A long time ago. That's a good idea. Okay, here's my question. And a lot of people, like friends, think I'm weird because my family actually hides the actual eggs. Some people hide the plastic eggs. Who hides the actual eggs? <laughs> I always thought everybody did. Do you guys hide the actual eggs? When I was little, we my parents hid the actual like hard boiled eggs. Yeah. yeah. That, you, that you colored and yeah. I have a couple of friends who thought that was weird. I thought it was normal. We do plastic eggs now with money. The kids are getting older, so <laughs> all they want is money. Oh, Kayla says they have an Easter picnic. And Krista says Easter egg hunt. Ooh, Diane says swimsuits and towels, pool towels. Oh. That's a good idea. Are you making your own decals on your towels and your swimsuits? That would be fun. Oh, Jamie says they do a kid carnival as a family. That sounds fun. That would be fun. Oh, Katrina has a good point. She says I can't hide actual eggs because the dog will find them first. <laughs> oh, no. That would be bad. That's always, funny. My dad always puts them out. And we're all grown, and he still puts them out, and we there's always one we can't find, but we eventually find it. There's always <laughs> one. Okay. That's funny. So, I mean, these are grown adults looking for Easter eggs. It's kind of funny. That's um, so fun. fun. Okay. So, that's almost ready. I cut two things here because I had extra aura masks. So you could either stencil it on with the aura mask because I had just a little bit of left on the bottom. But... We're just going to do glitter because we can. All right. And we're using our weeding box and our clear transfer tape, our clear gritted transfer tape. And I didn't center it. I'm just like kind of guessing here. Hoping that I copied Easter. Yeah. I'm going to put them upside down. Okay. Same thing down there. You could go and distress this, make it however you want. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. We couldn't see it. Oh. We didn't see the fun you were having. <laughs> oh, Lori says this would be cute as a toddler puzzle. Yes. What a great idea. Oh, I was going to do that. I have a little puzzle that I got from Ikea that has numbers for like five bucks. I was going to do the same thing for my niece for her birthday. That's but with numbers. Cute. Uh, what font is this? This is Silhouette Font ZP, which is the designer's edition, initials. It's ZP Earth and Air. And that's also linked on the blog. And I can do a link in there. I can't remember the item number. But just in Silhouette Studio, just type ZP Earth and Air. And you'll get it. And there's a couple of variations to it. So, yeah. And there we go. That is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna get close. Oops, I'm gonna turn that off. Look how cute all those stripes are. So you just put it on an easel or put a hook on the back, hang it on your wall. It would be fun, like I said, if you wanna change it out, do a magnet board, put magnetic stuff on the back. That'd be kind of fun. Change it out a little bit for different holidays. So yeah, and there we go. So did anybody find this fun? Did everybody go order their inkjet, their blossom pack, use your coupon? Um, get your Stardust from the Glitter FX line. Not transparent, but you can check out the transparent line too. So that's what we've got. I hope you guys thought this was fun. If you have any questions, keep them coming. Um, if you need more links, we'll be happy to send them to you. Check out the blog. It'll have step-by-step -step stuff. All the links are on there. Kind of linked it out a lot. So I want to help you guys out. So, okay, that's all I have for you guys today. Have a good Easter. Have fun crafting and have a great weekend and don't get snowed in. So have a good day, guys. Bye.